Here we go now, hey! Get him now! Get that sucker out of that tree, that's a good one! Everybody, welcome back to a beautiful, glorious day. Calm water elk bugling in the background. My goodness, it's outdoor greatness. I've got Parker and Cutter here with me today. How did you guys get here? Why are you here? Oh, uh, we won a giveaway, I guess you would call it, to get a private fishing trip with y'all. <laughs> and we haven't even made our first cast yet, but it is gorgeous. The guys over at Fun and Sun, they hook us up with uh, boats and a lot of our gear and stuff. They're, uh, they're big on high school bass fishing. and These guys are from Roy City, is that right? Yep. Roy City uh, bass fishing team. And uh, we've got one other team over there with Rob. And we are going to dangle hard today. And it looks like we're going to get some topwater action in. Let's commence the first cast. Although we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, sorry. And here we go. I'm going to be starting out with uh, the Hummer, the Buzzbait with uh, the Saucy Swimmer on it. Beautiful little combo. Ha bam It's gonna happen. This water's clear. Make sure your drags are set. Mine was not. First guy, little, little weak attack. It wasn't a full blown. What's going on here? Are they not gonna eat our toppy tops today? I'd certainly enjoy that. That's the best, this kind. There's one swirl right there. I have to break out the swim bait on them on this point just to clarify what's going on. All right, that should get launched. So weird to hear elk bugling. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever heard that before? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this water's clear, y'all. I can see my bait way down there. Boy, that should just be getting slobbed on. My gosh, these elk, man. This is ridiculous. <sighs> the first. The first big one, we'll say. Mid-size, falls victim to the old whopper plop. As the elk bugle in the background. There we go. Nice one, clear water, top water action. See ya. I would take five of those any day. We may have to, uh, I have to break out some worms and jigs and stuff. Oh boy, there he is. Oh no, you did not, sir. Oh, he's coming back, look at him. Oh, it's a five pounder. Amazing. That was glorious. That was a big one. That was a big one. He bamboozled my worm, man. We got a boat flip a big six pounder, god dang. Nicely done, sir. Yes, sir. And he came off on me. See, a spinnerbait catches a big one. <laughs> nice, man. That's a freaking hog. <laughs> Woo, golly. Dang. Dude, hold him up there like that again. That, that's a beautiful fish. 
Nicely done, man. On a spinner bait. I love yes, it. Sir. I love it. Right between those the two little trees. Yep. <sighs> Good job, dude. A brute and a butte on an awesome lure. It's a little slow, but fish like that, that, that keeps me motivated right there. Yes, sir. Definitely shied away from the boat. There's another one. Hey, come on now. I think I may switch to a jig. Not yet, I'm not convinced. Wow. Okay, if this guy doesn't have it. There we go. Finally got one to stay on. Guess what I've got. On the Mondo. The old tree powder. Nice. I think I have another bite. I do. Might be worm time. He absolutely had it too. Just a just a good old bass right there. Just a good old bass. There's not a whole lot I could say about that one except it's just a good profile, nice bass. See you, buddy. How do you rig yours up? Time to switch tactics. Okay, this is, I'll show you. This hook's kind of interesting. So it's kind of a hybrid hook, so I'm gonna go through like oh, that okay. and then all the way through and then just skin hook. So then you're good on yeah, the we, trees. We don't push ours on right there. Yeah, like on a round bend you don't, but that one's kind of like a hybrid. Cutter's going with the Mondo worm over here. I'm gonna try a trench hog, going big on these guys. Caught a couple fish, I just, I want old hog. We're entering into some serious stumps here. Five aught offset worm hook. Just gonna stick that in the plastic there. Five sixteenths ounce bullet weight hook, or bullet weight. Bullet weight hooks have never been a thing. 20 pound GS fluoro, and we're ready to dangle out here in the trenches with the trench hog. All these trees just follow a creek channel, I'm assuming. Oh, there's one right under the boat. Yeah, him. Very nice. Oh, my dad's out fishing today. Hey, uh, LFG, good morning. I thought I'd give you a quick update. On the uh, first forecast, I had uh, two bites, uh, and then one of the fish got off and came back and got it. I've never had that happen with a top water uh, lure. So nice, Congrats. good design, <laughs> love the colors, thumbs up. <laughs> oh, there he is! Hey guys! Oh, come on, little donkler! That's a new word just came out. <laughs> donkler. donkler. Yeah, it was a tap, tap, taparoo. It's happening. Right on that point. Absolutely inhaled the trencheroo. Come on, big mama. Oh, yeah. Just got to call her in. That's not a big one, but it's a decent one. Right on the very end of the extended point. Oh, yeah. Big fatty. That one about pulled the rod out of my hand. Dear goodness. Very nice. Another one on the old trench hog. Oh, yeah. You can actually see the bottom right here, guys. We should break out our topwaters again though and just run through here. See if there's any that are chasing uh, chasing bait like all the way up here yet. Oh yeah. Dang. Right on that big stump. 
I don't feel, I'm just keeping pressure. You might have got off. Do you see some? I had, okay, that's good. You got one? Oh yeah, dude, nice one up in the shallows. Heck yeah. Nice. Another spinnerbait fish. Bate. No. Now's not the time. Should be a fish there. So far we've been catching them on plastiques, kind of out in the timber, a little bit deeper. We decided to roll up in this little creek right here just to see if they're chasing bait. Oh, did you break your blade? Yeah, he broke it off. No. Dude, that's when your spinnerbait's at its peak. It's like right before it breaks. He probably heard it coming. He was like, I have to have that deliciousness. We're just gonna fish all the way back, see if there's any more fish in the super shallows. But you can literally see the bottom. That fish came out of that shallow water just now. Yes, dude. Heard that one blow up. Does that get you pretty excited? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? What gets you more excited? A big old 10 pounder. A 10 pounder, okay. Let's see, right now we probably have, working on, we're, we're probably like 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. What would you say? That's a good one. That's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Dude, there's a big one swimming right in the gut of this thing. There's another one right there. Dude, they're stacked. Holy crap, power pole down. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, they are stacked in the back of this creek. Holy cow. Oh man. Nice fish right there, nice. Just go, go far and beyond. There it is. No. No. The dreaded hang up. Oh. Let's wrap out the boat. On the grass line. Flare fish? A little flare fish, yeah. Oh. I just pooped. Got him. Uh, there's some little flare fish back here. I'm telling you, I saw some mondos creeping in here, but I think we we spooked them. Got another one. Definitely bigger. Nice guy. Is there anything better than that? Slapping spitter baits? You guys, you guys got to work on that landing, man. You ever had a big tournament fish flop out of the boat? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Actually, when I was really little, I watched my dad and one of his friends, and they had like a seven pounder go out of the boat. Oh, dude. I like form tackle them the when they hit the carpet. So far, we've amassed about 30 bass. Soft plastics being the key. Trench hog, mondo worm. Biggest bass has come on a spinner bait, which, I mean, when does a big bass not come on a spinner bait? But right now we're gonna actually load up this place that we're at. I believe this place is called the High Top Ranch, something like that. This is a unique place. They literally have deer hunting, elk hunting, uh, lots of lakes. There's 22 lakes out here. And we're gonna go explore a couple of, uh, a couple more of them. Sun is getting high. Sometimes the schooling up action ha actually happens like later in the day, three, four o'clock, and we are sitting at noon right now. So time to grab a little bite to eat and then get back to dangling. But we're doing pretty good so far. This is a good time. Lake number two, we are dumping in. That's Monty right there. He's the owner of Fun and Sun. He's orchestrated this deal. He's a great man. He's also gonna back me in here. He's fished these lakes before. They've uh, they've done some shows and things like that. And he's saying this one uh, should be just as good. Round two, going for the Megalodons. You guys' PBs, we're looking at seven pounders, I think, is what you guys said. Sixes or sevens. Got the opportunity here. 
close the gap. You got one, shallow. By the tree. Tree pounder by the tree. On the bank. A little windy bank action here. Oh, I'm getting one too. I think we dove. Ooh, yeah, I got a bigger one on the swim bait. Are we tripled right now, guys? Really? Yeah. Triple chunkers. This big one on the old saucy swimmer. Ugh. There we go. A big old four pounder. You got it. Woo! Big one on the old saucy. Tripled up. That's our first triple of the day. Should we get a triple selfie? See you, baby. Swimmers. That's what it's all about. You guys giving up right now? What's going on? What's happening right now? Take some more Advil. We got a we got a man down right here. Tommy John. Mm -hmm. Coming off Tommy John. Still ripping lips out here. Mad That's respect. Right. Gotta hit the like button on that. Cutter's just taking a hydration break, is all. He's getting ready. Getting ready for the five pounder. Yee yes, sir. You gotta throw that thing in that tree, dude. It is, it is super nasty. You got the wind at your back. Let it loose. Let it loose. It's gonna get gobbled. So you don't have to get your tattoo today. No, no. I just hammered down on a five. Nice. On uh, the zingers doing a massive one. Oh, he's he's hooked up. Here we go now. Hey, get him now. Get that sucker out of that tree. That's a good one. Oh, no. Yeah. No! That was a good one. God, that was a nice one. That was a four ski for sure. Give me that the play by play. One. What happened? So, threw it in there, twisted it once, and hammered it. Got caught up in the tree and came off. <sighs> Such is life. Maybe we'll bite again. Oh, I just got rolled over on. They're in that tree. Get in that fall action. Well, he's got it. Slammed. I got one. Little guy. Yeah, the triple, man. The triple threat. I don't think we have a big one on this this round, though. A little bit better, then. The old tag team on that guy. Beautiful fish. You did the old reel in trick till it got heavy. Bam! Got that big in, see? Oh yeah, dude, that thing is gone. Absolutely gone. Saucy. That one's been eating good. Ooh, hey now. Some solid ones back in here. Nothing like that. That one you got. You got it all the way down. Oh no! You did get a triple, but it's a swap. <laughs> the time has come. School is back in tomorrow. The dreaded class. What would you rather do? Go to first period or catch an eight-inch largemouth? I catch an eight-inch. Okay. It's pretty evident there. Pretty clear question there. What would you rather do, graduate from high school or catch a 28 pound bass? 28 pound bass. <laughs> 28 pound bass would probably make you a lot of money. You'd probably get a lot of endorsements there. You wouldn't even need high school. <laughs> stay at school, kids, stay at school. We probably, we definitely caught over 50. 
Even though the wind was high, we came to the side of the lake. I think that the better average size was there, and uh, they were they were just eating the meat and potatoes baits. They were eating the saucy swimmer. They were eating a spinner bait. They were eating crank bait. You were catching them on crank baits. So they were eating the good stuff. Okay, unfortunately, we gotta we gotta go in because they have to go back to school. So we're not gonna get an evening bite session in. But it's been a pretty good dangle today. Come here, pumpkin. You gonna say hi to your dad? You took a hard right. Alrighty, y'all. I'm gonna go spend the rest of my weekend with the family. I had a really good time fishing with Parker and Cutter today. We learned some things, we had some good times. I wish there was high school fishing around when I was that age, but I'm glad they're getting to experience it. The Saucy Swimmer, y'all, now available. I'll link it down below. That was a key component on that second lake to getting bites, and it was kind of different between the two. I cannot believe there was 22 lakes on that place. We only fished two of them. It was a majestic place that we went to today. So go ahead and smash the like button for outdoor greatness today. LFG signing off until the next dangle soon. Thank <music> you.